President Trump tweeting up a storm over the weekend. But guess what? Half a dozen of those tweets focused on one thing trade and how unfair the president says it is for the United States. Sending a message to the group of seven finance chiefs, they all met up over the weekend in Canada ahead of the big G7 leaders summit in Quebec later this week. Upset finance chiefs from Canada, France, Italy, Germany and the United States and Japan piled on Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin about President Trump's tariffs. France's financial minister going so far as to say, quote, it's been far more a G6 plus one then a G7. Former U.S. Ambassador to Belgium, Howard Gutman, joining us now in a Fox Business exclusive. Welcome, and thanks for being here, Ambassador. Um, let's, let's talk about this. They're calling it the G6 plus one or the G7 minus one, and the United States is sort of on the outs at the moment. However, does the president not have at least some points to be made where we don't charge anybody anything on certain things incoming to our country, and yet they're charging our goods quite the tariff? Liz, I think this is bad policy, uh, but very good politics for Donald Trump, less so for the Republican Party. But on the policy part, uh, it's a little bit shooting ourselves in the foot. These are tariffs on steel and aluminum. Um, we use those components to make final products. Uh, anyone knows if you start uh, putting tariffs, they're going to put tariffs back. So all that we're really doing as a policy matter is making it more difficult for steel can producers or air conditioner producers uh, to operate in this country. They'll have to produce more abroad. Uh, and we're also going to end up with tariffs on our orange juice to punish Florida or on Harley Davidson's to punish Paul Ryan. Uh, so in policy, Wisconsin, right, right. In Wisconsin. So policy, it's, it's not a great policy move. But on politics, and they understand this, the Euro Europeans understand it. That's why they picked Harley Davidson's and orange juice. On politics, this plays to the really the only audience that President Trump cares about right now, which is, last I checked, Canada had no electoral votes, Mexico had no electoral votes, and Europe had no electoral votes, but Pennsylvania and Ohio are critical states, and okay. this will help them. However, he, he won Wisconsin, and he won Kentucky, and there's the bourbon tax that's coming in from the European Union. Let me just say, though, with Canada, 80% of Canada's steel goes south to the United States. So now Canada is mulling a, an aid package. So what I'm hearing you say is that um, it's really important to perhaps target these not to steel and aluminum, but if the president, and this would have been good politics, really focused on the auto tariffs. If you look at the auto tariffs, uh, the European Union charges U.S. cars coming in something like 15%, whereas we only charge... Two and a half percent, uh, ten percent rather, duty on autos coming in, and and so are you saying that maybe it would have been better to go after that and just say, guys, let's just make it equal because there, I think the president has a point. You know, I think you go after cheap steel from China, you go after cheap end products from China, but what is there going to be a tariff on foreign cars? We're talking about increasing the tax on people who will buy. BMW or Mercedes, a lot of President Trump's friends perhaps, BMWs, Mercedes and Volvos. And so what you're going to do is cut choice uh, in the luxury good market to affluent Americans. I don't think that's really um, the, something that's going to change dynamics, help the message. The real message needs to be for the president that he's being tough for America and particularly on states that are swing states that he needs the votes. Mm. That's what he's doing. But I don't think a car tariff makes any more sense than a steel tariff. Uh, I thought the balance of trade, you can look at certain numbers, but if the balance of trade, more Mercedes um, uh, could be, a uh, Mercedes could be made cheaper in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and shipped back to Stuttgart if you opened your doors um, and uh, continued to work on your energy. And we win that way. We win the good old-fashioned American way. Ambassador Gutman, uh, thank you. And we're watching what will happen this week. We will be covering the summit in Quebec, and uh, I'm quite sure there will be tension, but there is certainly attention now being paid to what many say is, is somewhat of an unfair trade relationship. Good to see you, sir. Thank you.